What are you guys me, your main pal, your social media fanatic on a new on the YouTube channel, Dr. Do of the YouTube channel, Dr. Do, y'all. Today's video, me and my brother here had finally watched the newest movie that came out, all right? The newest movie, the newest Marvel movie that we ever seen, all right? It's like the last good one of good Marvel movie that came out this year, all right? We are talking about Guardian of the Galaxy for you three, all right? Volume three. Yeah, man. If you guys want to hear about this, please or to subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification down below, all right? And let's get this party started, Brandon. So, Brandon, about the Guardian of the Galaxy for you three, me and my brother came to watch it on this Friday night, all right? Tell him, Brandon. It was very good. We gotta tell go, you. Go see it while you still have that chance. Yeah, like this is what the this final chapter for the Guardian of the Galaxy. It kind of it was a really sad one. Wait, wait, but it also gets what we got from the theater itself. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Check this out. Our own collection of the Guardian of the Galaxy box. Um, Rocket box right here, y'all. This a you know how much this thing cost to buy like, to get this forty nine ninety nine. All right, this thing is a collection. All right, see look, you can put anything in here like souvenirs, your coins, everything. I think right here. I make it, man, y'all. This is a collection piece. All right, collector's hey, edition. And we gotta tell you, it's very dope, right? I like how Rock is the one on this collection, okay y'all? So, me and my brother Brandon have been watching the whole entire movie. Me and Brandon discuss about the story, the plot, the characters, how the CGI did, and all that, right? Let's start with the story, Brandon. What are your thoughts about the story? I liked it. Adam Warlock is my favorite. Oh yeah, there would be- wait, wait, before we tell- before we do this, there would be spoilers right here, alright? See, look, the word says spoilers, alright? I recommend y'all, if you guys don't want to watch it, be sure to leave and watch the movie yourself. If you're still here, there will be spoilers, okay, kids? Yeah. So, on to this story. Alright, so, my thoughts about the opening. It's not bad. It gives us a, a sad, unique story of how Rocky Raccoon and how he become like that and stuff. While we see him in the nowhere at the new Guardian of the Galaxy headquarters, we see Peter Quill drunk out in mind because he missed Gomorra so much. I mean, I gotta tell you, Gomorra was an awesome character in the first and second one and Infinity War. It's sad that she had to die like that from Thanos. Stupid Thanos, you get what you deserve, alright? Anyway, well, the sacrifice requires the hardest will, soul for a soul. Yeah, but, but by the time this go on, she's a, she a pain in the butt, man. I'm gonna tell you, I don't like how she mean still after all the things that happened around her and her duplicate, Ben Teresa. You mean Nebula? Yeah, no, no, like her other one, other Gamora. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you one thing about that. Like, Gamora, in that movie, she is a pain in the butt to everybody. Like, she doesn't care. I felt like that all that thing that happened to Gamora, uh, kind of hurt me, me and my brother on this, all right? And she went out to become a, a Ravager. Why would she want to become a Ravager? Why a Ravager? Really? Is she the leader of the Ravagers? No. Oh, the actor, um, the, 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 um, the Rocky actor, he's still the leader. Uh, Seth Bassett Stallone? Yeah. To, he, the, he the leader of the United Rav Ravagers, sure, like, he got some screen time on there, he on there, right? Yeah. But, her as a Ravager, I don't see that. Right? I'm more into her as a lone wolf character trying to redeem all the things she had done but her other self like her other self she trying to 
It doesn't fit. She doesn't fit like that. All right. What do you think about the Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy Three? Honestly, I was it was not vibing with the. I didn't get any vibe from this Gamora. All right, I don't like this one at all. I had mixed feelings. Yeah. So while um while Peter could was drunk out in mind because losing Gamora and stuff. All of a sudden, we saw Alan Warlock in the Guardian of the Galaxy just come in, flying her hit butt all the way to nowhere trying to take Rocket. To me, he kind of stupid. He wasn't that smart in the beginning of it. Like, why? I'm like, I saw the trailer of him. I told him in the trailer with a beard and mustache and long hair, but I don't see that in the Guardian of the Galaxy 3 movie. I kind of like disappointed how the trailer uh, trick you on that one. I got I call it the Marvel trailer, the Loki trailers. All right, get it? Loki could trick you. Trailer could trick you too. You know, that's the problem we're going to have on those trailers. So anyway, tell me about your opinion about the story, Brandon. I liked it. It was enjoyable. Like, give us detail. I don't want over there. They played him like the Vision at Age of Ultron born yesterday. Yeah. Kind of like, like that. But however, he does, he's not that smart in the beginning. He's not that. He like he got this child mind set. Well, he, the cocoon was open early. Yeah, because of... The, uh, the high evolution. Yeah, he... High evolution messed up. Uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of that, the high evolution guy... Ugh, he is a pain in the butt. He doesn't care for nothing. Like, he like, all I care about is one thing. One thing only. And that person would be... Rocket. Yeah, he had the Rocket Raccoon in the whole entire movie of Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 3. I don't know why, but uh, we're going to tell you that at the end of that, alright? So, why right after uh, Rocket got injured because of Adam Warlock, it's hard, for, it's hard to take down Warlock, man. Like, uh, we saw Nebula, uh, Nebula stab him, but didn't kill him because he can regenerate his body. All right, and so Rocket got into it very badly because of that. And because of Alan Warlock, he almost died in that freaking movie. I'm like, oh no, 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 not Rocket. He is awesome, man. What do you what do you think of that part, Brandon? <laughs> Me, and my brother, and my other brother bet on who going to be killed off. I picked Drax, Brandon picked Rocket, my other brother picked Star-Lord, and we wait until whoever dies in there sacrifices himself, or something like that. I'm kind of like trying to get to the liking of the other character, like the Cosmonaut Dog. Cosmonaut Dog? Yeah. It doesn't sound like a um, Russian man, he sound like a Russian girl in it. This kid is a, this is actually a poison, the um, dog. Ginger Trop? I think that they did that, alright, so. It's supposed to be based on the real Russian dog back up in. Is it a girl or boy? Girl. Okay, yeah. So they try to be realistic on that one part, alright? So the whole entire team tried to find a way to save Rocket. So they went to the other planet. And so it's like a. a base, but actual flesh of the base. With it kind of grow, and we saw all five of them wearing Among Us space suit, like Among Us. Among Us, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I felt like Among Us is going to sue Guardians of the Galaxy for that. All right, I felt like it's going to happen very soon. I feel like it was more like a reference, but it not. It was Among Us came out around 2020. All right, it didn't come out in the 80s or 90s or 2000s or 10s. All right, it's not a reference. It felt like a copy, right? Copyright thing. All right. And so they try to find information of how they go to save a uh, rocket and the whole entire situation here. We end up seeing on uh, the high, high evolutionary, high, high evolutionary. That guy was a pain in the butt to everybody. He doesn't care. He like all I wanted is perfection of the universe. Make everything like I want it to be. He tried to make it like Earth-like creatures. Like have every 
part creature to become like a humanoid creature, like human bats, human animals. I felt like he's like a furry, alright? I felt like high evolutionary is a furry person. <laughs> hey, you guys made it. Kind of true on that. So, anyway, we saw we we were watching his backstory, rocket backstory, uh, how he became like that. It's kind of sad. It's addictive. It even people say it's even worse than what Nebula, Nebula went through when he when she was raised by Thanos himself. And so we continue on to, to watch his story go up and stuff. He made friends with one is a otter, one is a rabbit, one is a um what what is it like walrus. They all were victims of the high high evolutionary on on what they did to them. Alright? Kinda it was sad to see them went through a lot of pain and agony because of him trying to make everything perfection and all that stuff. What, what, what about you, Brent? I will tell you, the one ship I miss the most is probably the Milano. Yeah, I miss the Milano, but I don't like the other ship, alright? The Bowie, the Bowie. Yeah, I like the Bowie. And so, after that, Adam Warlock and his mother tried to hunt down Rocket so they could save their species and all that stuff, which is hard for them to do because of the high evolution and trying to be that powerful and stuff. So rather they tried to rather they fought um, the hot the uh, fledged place, try to get information of how they go to save them. They went out to go to another planet that like Earth, but everybody in the whole entire planet are <coughs> animal like humanoid <coughs> beings. You mean they, counter Earth? Yeah, counter Earth. They all don't speak English. We don't. We cannot understand what they're saying and stuff. They also like a 1980 reference to everything over there, like 80 car, 90s. You know what I mean? I gotta say, the part, my favorite, it was, was Star Lord dropping the F bomb. Yeah, he like, that's my put, favorite part. Put the frick effing car, alright? Like that. It's like, no, no, no. It's like, open the effing door. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> and so. Well, the dad, they went to the high evolutionary base. He heard about what people said to them, and he decided to destroy Counter Earth with all the population of the people living on that thing. It was sad and sadistic what he did. He killed billions and billions of people. He don't care. Yeah, he like, I don't care what I do as long as I make some perfection. He's my favorite villain since Thanos got dusted away. Bing. Not in my top five, alright? I gotta say he's in my top five. He like my eighth favorite, okay? And uh, he's in top five. All I right. put him in top five. So anyway, after he destroyed the whole entire planet, he got people inside of those, inside the spaceship, where they cannot get tired, they can, you know, everything. And so, Rocket Raccoon made, they made the same Rocket Raccoon in there. Yeah. They prevented him from dying and going to the light and stuff. But it turned out what happened, how he escaped was sad. All his, his friends that he made with the Wallace, the Otter, and the Rabbit got killed by him. He was a dickhead. He, I'm like, no, no, bro. I thought they were going to be in, at, be in the movie at the end and stuff. <laughs> Hard to look at that. May they rest in peace. Okay, y'all? Yeah. So anyway, after they managed to take on the High Evolutionary, he, Rocky Raccoon wanted to make sure he paid for what he did to him, alright? High Evolutionary wanted to take revenge on Rocket for what they, he did to him. He like, how can you be smart than me? How can you be more chance? Like that. And then... We see him getting his butt whooped by all the gar Guardian and Gamora. He get what he deserves, man. Like, that person get what nobody ever gets. Alright, a, a, an ass whooping right there, y'all. <laughs> and so, after defeating him and destroying the hit ship and stuff, he made his 
they meant to say all the children in the ship and all the animals that were in the ship as well. I thought, well, after that, Peter Quill tried to jump his way on the other, on the no, nowhere ship, but he almost died. I thought he was going to die at first. Yeah, we all thought. But he Adam was. Warlock managed to save the day. So, after all that they went through and stuff, they decided to disband the group, but have, but instead of them being the, a member of the group, they decided to let Rocket become the leader of the new Guardian of the Galaxy, having him, Groot, and the Warlock, uh, who else? Um, the Fraglin. Cos- Fra- Fraglin. Fraglin. and the Cosmonaut Dog, and that little girl, one of the little children that joined the group as well. They became the new Guardian of the Galaxy. But Gamora went back to go with the Ravager. We didn't see no romance or anything at all. That disappoint me. I hate that Gamora for what... She doesn't care. Like, she's a pain in the butt. At the end, she decided to be happy with the Ravager, which I don't consider her as a Ravager at all. So, after, after the aftermath of all that, uh, Drax and Nebula decided to be helping the children and nowhere as their new leader of the of the group itself. Mante went uh, went by herself going to help some people and stuff. And Peter Quill decided to return to Earth to see his grandfather, Jason Quill. Which they kinda make instead of making Jason as the father of Peter Quill in the comic, they made him as the grandfather of Peter Quill and stuff. I kind of don't like how they changed from having Jason as a father to a grandfather and having Eagle as the father. I don't see that. But hey, it was good to see him reunite with his grandfather after being kidnapped in the first one. Am I right, Brandon? Pretty much. Let's talk about the CGI. The CGI actors are really good, alright? I like how they did really amazing on that. And so at the end, we and Brandon saw the ending with. Eh, what do you think of the mid, the mid and the last credit? I cannot wait for Star Wars again. Yeah, oh yeah, Guardian, guess what? Peter Quill will come back as a solo movie or a show. We don't know about it. We, 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 we will wait waiting for the update to come in and stuff. And so, me and my brother liked how the movie did, how the story did, the CGI, and all that. We, him, me and my brother had decided to give it a... 9.5 out of 10. Am I right, Brandon? Yeah. And get what it is? This is the one right here. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is the one. All right, I recommend you go check it out. Highly recommend that. Post. Yeah, get this one. Did it work your life? Rock to honor the Guardians of the Galaxy. Me and my brother get this in the name of Rocket. Long live the Guardians right here. In my heart, we did. We honor y'all for this. It gets a soundtrack too. Yeah, the soundtrack is good. We love the music. The fight sequence are amazing, alright? So, did it out with you for the Guardian of the Galaxy for you three movie it? Thank you all so much for watching this movie review. Please subscribe to our to this channel. Hit notification down below. Put a comment down and see what you guys thought of the movie. And we guys, we will see y'all next time, alright? Peace out, y'all.